Hello everybody, my name is Emily and we are building a gingerbread house to celebrate the holidays, the holiday season. Um, for this build, the only custom content thing is that terrain paint, which is snow I got off the Sims 4 resource. Um, but when I put it on the Sims 4 gallery, it did not say it was modded, but if you do download this, the only thing that won't show up is the snow and everything else will. I also used a few, bleh, a few cheats, the move objects cheat and a cheat to get the debug items, the uh, BB dot show hidden objects cheat, so that I could add food to the outside of the gingerbread house to make it feel more like it's edible and somewhat. Um, so yeah, I had a few like giant pieces of popcorn and eclairs and other things, and I got these really cool, there's these really cool little doll figurines that I sized up, and they kind of, you know, sometimes when you get a gingerbread house, they come with little people, and I wanted them to be my little people, so I enlarged them, and yeah, and I also raised the objects up and down by uh, clicking the number 9 and 0, I'm sure a lot of you already know what that is, that's me enlarging a piece of cake, I just wanted to put that there. I don't know. It looked like snow, so I put it there. I probably a lot of people probably don't decorate the gingerbread houses with pieces of cake, but apparently I did. But uh, anyways, enjoy the video. I got some nice little Christmas themed music playing, uh, holiday music. So yeah. So here I added some strawberries to kind of line the roofing because I feel like when you decorate a gingerbread house you tend to like to line the roofing with pieces of hard candy and there's not much of choices here in The Sims 4 for candy but there's a lot of fruit so I thought strawberries because you can dip those in chocolate and they still taste good. So I put those along the roof and then I'm adding the giant pieces of popcorn like I said before that was going to happen. And these are half pretzels. Um, there's a lot of fun objects that you can come up with playing with uh, the debug items cheat. That looks like Swedish fish. Like that gummy fish candy. That's exactly what it's described as in the game as like gummy candy. Um, but I lined the roof with that, and it looks really nice. I also found this really nice, uh, those are the eclairs, by the way. I lined the roof with those, too, because why not? They're yummy in my tummy. Okay, <laughs> and then I, what I said is I got this giant piping tool for frosting and icing, and I put that on top of the roof as if somebody is decorating the gingerbread house to give it more of a realistic feel. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of screenshots at the end for this house, a lot of outside screenshots because I just fell in love with the outside, the exterior. I'm lining it with lights right now and it gave it this amazing glow. I'm really happy with it and I'm in love with the screenshots like I said before. Please stick around for those or skip ahead to those. I don't care anymore because the screenshots are glorious and it's the end product. Just if you skip there it's a giant spoiler for how I made it. Anyways, so yeah, I'll speak with you guys later.
Okay, so now we've moved on to the interior, and I just wanted to point out, if you do put this in your game, I have noticed that my sim has tried to clean up some of the food items I've placed outside and enlarged and are crazy out of reach, but they tried to clean it up. I did not see if she did, because I wanted to get those screenshots done, so if you do put it in your game and your sim cleans it up, then your sim cleans it up and you could just add a new one, I guess. <laughs> I don't really know. I, I, this is the first time I've messed with the debug items cheat. Anyways, uh, moving on to the inside, I decorated it mostly with red and white. Uh, the green is added with the uh, like the garland and the wreaths and the tree and some plants. Um, the bedrooms I wasn't too proud of because they're kind of plain red, green. They just kind of get the their function along. They're meant for sleeping in or just doing homework and getting dressed in or just bedrooms. But uh, I really did like how I used the new holiday um, <laughs> stuff they gave us with the uh, update. Um, I enjoyed it. I liked the fireplace they gave us. It's really nicely decorated. The only thing is I wish there was a smaller size so I could have like a two square sized fireplace not just the three square sized um, but yeah it is what it is now see there's the fireplace these three squares but it's still really pretty I like the plaid the red the green it's really complimentary to the holiday theme so yeah Alright, so this will be the last time I talk to y'all. Screenshots coming up soon. We're finishing up the upstairs now, the bedrooms. Um, you let me know what you think. I have this already uploaded onto the Sims 4 gallery. I'll put my username in the description down below. Also a link to where I got the uh, snow terrain. So I'll give you the Sims 4 resource website URL. Um, so you can just click on it and go there. Anyways, so my name is Emily. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next video. I believe it's going to be a create a sim. I've already recorded it, but we'll see how I feel about uploading it. Bye!